Good evening, third graders. Tonight we are going to do our test review for Unit 6. Your test is tomorrow, and we're going to do the study guide together tonight. Follow along with me as we do the study guide together. Let's go to number 1. Number 1 says draw a ray, ray UV, that is parallel to ray BC. Here is ray BC. I know that parallel means opposite. I'm going to draw my ray the same as BC, but this one I'm going to label U. I'm going to create another point, V. Excellent. Let's move on to number two. Draw a line, line T, U, that intersects line segment D, E. I'm going to draw my line. Remember, a line has two arrows on each end. I'm going to draw my points and label it T, U. Your line doesn't have to intersect at the exact same place that my line did. You could also draw a line that intersects this way, as long as you label T, U. Now your, your line could have intersections at different points. As long as it intersects and you've labeled your line TU with two arrows, you've done it correctly. Number three, draw a quadrangle. I, J, K, L with two right angles. I remember that a quadrangle has four sides. So I'm going to draw my four-sided figure. I'm going to label my quadrangle I, J, K, L. I, J, K, L. You could label your quadrangle with letters at different vertices, and that is okay, as long as you label it. Now I notice that my quadrangle has at least two right angles. Here's one right angle, and here's a second right angle. Remember, right angles have how many degrees? 90. Very good. Let's move on to number 4. Look at the shape under number 4. Letter A asks us how many faces. Let's trace the faces together. Here's one face. two faces, three faces. This shape has three faces. How many vertices? Here's one vertice, two, three, four, five, Six. Notice the six vertices. Letter C asks how many edges. First, we'll trace the edges on our bases. Here's edge one, edge two, edge three, edge four, edge five, edge six, edge 7, edge 8, edge 9. Nine edges. Check your answers and make sure that you have three faces, six vertices, and nine edges. Let's flip our page to number 5. Number 5 reads, draw a picture of each turn. I'm reading along right here. Draw a curved arrow to show the direction of the turn. The vertex of the angle and one side have already been drawn for you. Letter A asks us to draw a 3 fourth turn clockwise. I remember that clockwise is this way. So, I'm going to draw one fourth of a turn clockwise would be right here.